Hello, hello. Today, I'm going to be sorting out pages. Now, I have prepped a template, but I'm not going to talk about this at the moment until we start sewing in the signatures because there is a little something you have to remember when you're using this template. So we'll talk about that later on. I am doing five whole pamphlet stitch with four signatures. So I'm gonna move my cover aside. I, the first thing I'm gonna do is prep my pages. Now I have, the first thing I have is just straightforward tea dyed paper and I have six sheets, but at the moment I just wanna lay down four because it's a it's a four signature journal so those are my first four pages the next thing i did was i selected four pages that i wanted on the outside of each signature um and i'm going to put those into place now i'm not going to be using I'm only going to be using eight pieces of the kit papers. You can, of course, use more if that's what you want to do. I am only using eight. Um, I'm going to be making a second journal after this, a much, much more straightforward one. And then I have four pages that I want in the centre of my signatures. Now, I've got two patterned as in a pattern, and two image-based ones. Now, I don't want to put these two papers together, so I'm going to put this one in signature number three, which means this one will go in signature number one. And then the two pattern papers will go in the last two signatures. I hope that makes sense. This is just kind of how I start putting signatures together. Right, so signature one, two, three, and four. So the next thing I have is, I, I'll use these ones first. I have some vintage ledger papers and I have three. So what I'm gonna do is I need to trim these down. So I've got my trimmer. Now, if you are not great at measuring millimetres, what I do is put my piece of paper in and line that up, okay? Line that up with the edge of my trimmer and take, you know my trick, <laughs> a piece of tape and put that piece of tape where you're going to trim. Okay, so now I know I don't have to worry about measuring. I don't have to worry about lining anything up. I'm just going to grab two of my pages. I'm trimming the bottoms. And I'm just going to trim all of my papers. So these are now cut to size. What I also have is... I have two sheets of grid and two sheets of a modern ledger. And again, these are tea dyed. So that's going to make up my tea dyed papers. So let's put the signatures back. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to alternate these. So we'll have one, two, three, four. And these are the nice new ledger pages. So we'll put one of those on each. <laughs> then we have these ledger papers. I'm going to put those like that. These ones that have the writing on. So we've got one that doesn't, one that does, one that doesn't, one that does. And before I do the last four pages, because I need to know where to fold them, I'm going to prep these. So I'm going to put these aside like so, so I know my signatures are in order. Take my papers. So I've got my cover and I've got my inside and I've got one sheet of tea, uh, tea dyed paper. I'm just going to take that out for a moment. So those are there. 
and I'm going to decide how I want to have these particular pages. Now, I would like to have this first, then a piece of tea dyed paper, then I'm going to go for the plain ledger, then a tea dyed piece, and then a ledger again. Okay, so we've got blue ledger, tea dyed, cream ledger, tea dyed grid, blue ledger. That's going to be our centre and that's going to be our outside. So that is my first signature put together. Now I'm going to follow that same pattern with signature number two. So I've put my pages together and I have done that by, if I open these up, I have my outside cover, then I have a piece of blue ledger, then I have a piece of tea dyed paper, then ivory ledger, then I have another piece of tea dyed, another blue ledger and then I have my centre. And I have followed that pattern for all four of my signatures. So all of them will be in this order. Now, this paper is a little bit more problematic because it's much wider. And because it is really a lovely ledger paper, I do not want to cut this down. I want to have these pages ready cut before I put this in because I don't want to risk having this cut. These are the last four pages to go in the journals. And again, these I don't want to cut. These are original pieces of ephemera and these are vintage book pages. So they're going to be slightly different, but very similar. So let's start with the first signature. And the first signature is the one I'm going to put in the book page. And I'm going to put it between the cream ledger and the tea dyed paper. So I'm going to put that in there. That's signature number one. Signature number two, again, I've got the ivory ledger and the tea dyed paper. So I'm going to put this in here, but I want to make sure I fold this up quite small. And I want to make sure I'm not going to cut any of that off. So I'm going to put that in there like that. That's signature number two. Signature number three, again, I'm going in the same place between the ivory ledger and the tea dyed paper and I'm going to put that book page in. And then my third one, my fourth signature is going to be this and I want to make sure that's folded in a way that it's not going to overhang and be cut like that. And this can just be folded in a little bit. Okay. So that is that. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to trim all of my papers. And I'm going to trim them to this outside piece because I know that is the perfect size to fit in my journal. So what I do is I grab my heavy ruler and I use a rotary trimmer. Now this is a very difficult board to work on. So my first signature, I'm gonna work my pages so they are very, very tight. Push them all into that crease. I'm gonna put my ruler down and slide that right to the very edge of that outside sheet of paper. Putting plenty of pressure on the ruler and using my rotary trimmer, I'm gonna just go 
up and down a few times. to get a nice smooth edge. So again, with my second signature, make sure I have a nice tight crease, pushing all of my papers in. Slide the ruler up to the edge of that outside page. And again, rotary cutter. You can use a craft knife. I just find the rotary cutter a lot more accurate and you do get a really nice edge. Now, what you do want to do is make sure you have a really sharp blade when you do this. You might have some bits that are not perfect, but that's fine. We can cover those up with tabs and laces and things later. So now I can put these in and know that they're not going to overhang. I want these to be the very second page in. So I'm going to open my front page. Just take that part of the signature out for a moment line this up but I want to make sure I've got a little gap here and I've got a line that I can use to fold like that and then this one we can fold back the rest of that signature can go back in place and that is not going to hang over the edge of my journal so that is what I'm going to do to all three of these remaining signatures. So now my signatures are prepped and they will fit in there really nicely. I like them. I like them. There we go. So um, in terms of pages, a four signature journal, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I would say that's probably the upper limit that I would use in a four signature journal. I usually go between five and seven signatures, um, five to seven pages per signature. Um, but this one is a little bit more. But that's OK. We have a nice kind of gap and amount of space there. Plus, once I you might remember or you might have seen in the Facebook group and on Instagram, I made these little tabs inspired by Junk Journal Addict, Addict Junk Journal Addict, I think she is, or Junk Journal Treasures on Instagram. These will be on the edge of my pages and they will slightly hang out of my journal which is what I wanted so that's okay so those are my pages all ready it's a very quick video I hope it made sense I just know people struggle with putting signatures together um, but I like to keep things nice and even I have got another couple of things that might go into a couple of the signatures but at the moment this is it so um, I will be back with another video very, very soon. Take care. Bye.